All right, so we do have a app component, you know, inside our React application. And what we want to do, we want to create a new component inside our React application. So for that, you can create a, a new component inside the root directory of SRC, but I don't want to do that. Let me create a new folder with the name of components and I will create a new component with the name of list.js. So please make sure it is a good practice to, you know, assign the first character as capital uh, whenever you are creating a component file right so list.js and if you're using vs code then you can install uh, this extension this extension is very helpful when you are developing anything in react and you know visual studio code so i will come over here and write rafcee and then i will you know hit the tab button then you will see that it has uh, you know it has done all the basic for us so now we do have uh, import react well basically right now we are not uh, you know we don't have anything to do with the re import this line so I am removing it now what we have done basically we do have a, a you know component function with the name of list and inside this component function what we are doing basically we are returning uh, the uh, our HTML uh, with the div element and inside the div we have written list and what we are doing at the end we are you know exporting our component so the question is how can I you know uh, include our list component inside this app.js right so as you can see right over here if we are if you are aware of one thing that if we are exporting anything then it is possible to import that file in any file uh, in our react application right so let me just remove all these things and what I will do I will write list right so you can notice one thing that it has automatically uh, you know imported the list component for for me and if I click save then you can notice that we are getting our list component inside the app.js right and if I come over here and write something like this text is coming from list component if I save it then you will notice that we are getting this text is coming from this component so if you want you can create multiple components like uh, let me come over here and write hello.js RAFCE right and let me create a new component as well with the name of footer footer.js right let's just come over here inside the app.js and you know let's import our header and footer component so I will come over here and write header footer so you will notice one thing that it is returning me some kind of an error so for that you have to wrap it up inside any div or you can use the react fragment like you can do something like this and you can wrap it your all the components or you know JSX element inside this fragment well basically these are called the react fragment if you want you can do something like this as well you can wrap it up inside the div as well right so it's totally up to you but it is a good practice to use the react fragment so when I come over here then you can notice that we are getting our header and our list component and our photo component right so this is how you can create a component inside the react application if you want you can create a multiple components it, it's totally up to you and whenever you you know create a component then it is you know mandatory to export that component so that you can import it inside your you know parent component like in my case my parent component is app.js right so i will see you in the next one have a nice day